went and I was just at the store and this freaking lady had the nerve. I mean, she's probably just trying to help, you know. She had the nerve to come up to me. I had to go to Walmart. I hate that place. Oh. It's like it's like they make it to where that's the only place you can shop when you're always living paycheck to paycheck or whatever. Anyways, that's not. Here I go again. Off the, you know, whatever it is. Off the subject. So she walks, she walks up behind me. She like, first she like turns around and starts following me and I can feel her following me. And I didn't like, oh great, this lady's gonna say something about me not wearing a mask. Nope, this is the first time this has happened. And I guess it's a good way for her to, if she, cause she probably really believes that everything is, anyway, she offered me, she had a, a big thing full of masks and she offered me one. And I said, oh no, thank you, I'm, I'm good. And she said, oh, Oh, are you claustrophobic? And I said, it's really not your business. I'm, you know, and I just started walking away. And the lady, then when I turned back around to start walking away, the lady that was on the other side of the aisle than me, she like, she like went and took her little mask down and like smiled at me. I was like, oh, that lady was nice, you know? I mean, the other lady was really nice. She was nice about it. You know, she wasn't rude, but the nerve I, honestly like I would never <laughs> I mean I don't know I just don't like talking to strangers maybe that I was told when I was a kid don't talk to strangers <laughs> stranger danger yeah anyways and then I was thinking you know I never I didn't know anybody that got the coronavirus I don't know anybody that um, knew anybody that had it or anything like that until now now I know all sorts of people that have been diagnosed with the coronavirus that are telling me it's like the worst thing and you get so sick and like a few people, you know, like, hmm, that's weird. Maybe because the people that are vaccinated are spreading something. I don't know. Um, but that's kind of what it seems. He lives around a lot of old people and I'm sure most of them are vaccinated. And it just blows my mind that now I'm seeing people that are like people that are like people that I know aren't like liars and they're not and they believe the same not believe the same things that I believe but they don't call me a conspiracy theorist and stuff like that so that's a nice Cadillac I've never seen that one the SRX I want one of those that looks like this it looks like Volvo Volvo XC90 okay anyways I love my car it's a great car even though it's almost got 300,000 miles or something and it's like you know it's having issues because if you have Volvo you gotta, gotta have Volvo money to maintain it <laughs> uh, anyways that's a different thing for a different day maybe a different YouTube channel okay I'm just looking around at this beautiful blue sky that's about to be covered because I can see these long streams of clouds
that would mean it wasn't how and if and if we were on and if we were on a globe how would it how would it reflect off the sun i don't well i don't know i think we're in a closed system that's just my opinion and what do i know i'm just a girl from cheney washington usa i'm not a girl anymore i guess since i'm gonna be 41 oh my goodness okay that's enough of that nobody needs to hear about all that that's so so crazy oh my gosh this person up here is passing this other person that is crazy too this road has so many rollover accidents. People hit head on, oh, it's crazy. That's why they changed it, because it used to be, when I was like in high school, I used to drive, oh my gosh. I'm lucky to be alive, I'm telling you. I used to go like 90, 100 miles an hour, passing people like they were standing still, just in and out, and on this highway right here. Yeah, I in the fog even, like it gets pretty freaking foggy out here. In the winter and in the fall, especially in the fall. But. That person's not big. Not big. Like, it only gets you to the t to town, like, a little bit quicker. Like, maybe 15 seconds. Because, I know, because I've, I've lived out here for a very long time. Like, I think we bought our house in 2011, and I lived, we bought it from my parents, so, yeah. Anyways, that's, I don't know why I'm telling my life story. Okay, I'm going to stop now, and I'm just going to say that, does anybody else notice people that are getting the coronavirus, the Karachi, is that what James called the Karachi or whatever? Um, the Wuhan wiggle, <laughs> oh that's so bad, I'm not laughing, that's not funny, but it was funny a year ago, kind of. Not really, but it was helping us deal with the shit that's going down. The, the move to the new world order and the depopulation of the world. Oh my gosh, I look like I'm tired. Uh, look, uh, <laughs> I have cotton mouth really bad. I can't believe I just said that either. Anyway, I'm just driving along and I'm going, oh man, I should keep going until, because I don't really know how to edit, so I have to keep talking until I get up here where I want to show you these freaking new cameras they have on the light poles. I'm like, what the heck? Why, they have so many cameras and I live in, like I've said, before, I don't know if I've said this before actually, I don't know if I've posted a video, but the town I live in has three freaking stoplights. Like it's not that big. We have only, what keeps our little town going is farming and Eastern Washington University. We have the red football field, it's pretty cool. I wonder like how, it, I wonder if that messes with like people that, that aren't, that don't play on the field all the time and then they come to Cheney to play on the field. I wonder if it messes with them because of the color. Because it's bright red. Like bright red like that car in front of me. Yeah, cray cray. Oh. Anyways, I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk. I don't have anything to talk about until I get to the freaking thing. Whoa, oh geez. Those are down power lines right there. All these trees are falling down everywhere. And it's weird. The trees, they're snapping like... Like, like not it. Some of them are just. You can tell that the roots have rotted, or it just dried up, which is crazy. Because, I mean, we're really drought tolerant in eastern Washington. Like, so it means that something is going into the soil, like maybe heavy metals, to break down these this root system. Because, I mean, the the tree next to my house. That tree is when I was in. When I was in. Like, okay, it was 1991 when I would mow, when I remember mowing the lawn and I would have to like, like the tree wasn't that big. Well, the tree, it was tall. It just, it was, it's a beautiful tree. It was a tamarack tree. And the roots, tamaracks are, anyway, tamaracks live a long time, like 200 years or something, something, something like that. I think, I'm pretty sure. And mine was started dying like five years ago like the it was weird and I'm like oh that's really sad because it was like the top one of the tallest trees in the neighborhood at this point and when we had a one of those wind storms that you know the heart brings in and my tree fell onto my house I was so upset about that well it fell over but the root ball is only like this big <laughs> like what that tree's been there since 19, I think it's 1975 or something. That's when it was planted, I believe. So the the root ball is not. And plus, it's 
I don't know. It just was really sad because now I'm missing that tree. I was thinking about making it in one of those free libraries, like the whole, like the, like somehow building a little stand around it, you know? I don't know if anybody has those little free libraries in their town, but I like to stop at the little free libraries because I find some good books and good books people don't read anymore. It's really like crazy. They just, they short text and they, it's crazy, 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 crazy. Oh my gosh, that building used to be Chet's Flowers. Oh, it says we're open. What are they? Oh, they're, anyways, they have a cow out front. Hmm. It looks like a real cow, but I don't think it is. There's no way it's a real cow. Okay, we might be getting up to these. Oh no, they're up a little bit further. Oh, whoa, that's my face. Go like this, whoa. I don't know how to switch it around. So we're just gonna go like this. Okay. Um. Oh, gross, there's bird crap on my windshield. I didn't even notice that. I don't have any stuff in my windshield ever fluid stuff. Okay, so this is a little town, see? What is that little, oh, that was a solar power thing and a light? Okay, so here we go. Remember that song? Here we go again on a, uh, whatever, what, who was that by? I don't remember. Okay, so I think there's one up here, yeah. Okay, see right, I hope you can see it. It's right above the speed limit sign. Look at that. Yeah, crazy. And there's like a few of, there's another one up here. And let's see. Okay, I want to be able to show you. I don't know if you can even see it. Okay, I'm going to make it like, so I can, oh, I can't see. Dang. Okay, just a sec. Okay, it's right. Oh, there's a sheriff. It's right. And then there's another, there's more right there on that light pole. I don't know if you can see the light pole. More right there. It, yeah. So downtown Cheney is under surveillance. How do, how do kids go missing? That's what I want to know. How in the heck do people go missing in a, the world that we live in today, right now? They don't. People know where they are. Somebody knows. Oh my gosh. My hair is just crazy. Okay. Anyways, on that note, I'm going to um, drive and there's people staring at me. I swear. They're like, who's that girl talking to? Talking to my phone. Okay. Anyway. My car. Oh, I wish I um, knew what was wrong with my car. Okay. I got to pay attention to my driving. Have a good day. Happy Sunday, and this is over and out. Ten, or, yeah, over and out.